Well, have you ever wanted to play professional football, as Lauren just mentioned? Well, now is your chance, but you may have to move to Florida to get it done. Here to explain it all to us is Anthony Johnson. He's the event coordinator for Tampa Bay Storm Area Football Tryouts. Good morning, Mr. Washington. How you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for good. being here. It's bright and early, but we wanted to get this out there. You know, Anthony, there's um, this weekend for plenty of guys who wanted to be professional football players, maybe their dream was sidelined. But not anymore. No, so I why. mean, what, what a lot of people have to realize is that you have to stay active. You know okay. what I mean? Because most people, they get out of college, they have a pro day, and they say they don't get picked. So that's where the Tampa Bay Storms come in, you okay. know. And what you do is you go to an Arena One tryout, mm -hmm. and you try out. You do the same thing you do at pro day, but then you still you don't get paid as much as you get in the NFL, but you still get a salary. Ah, okay. So when was, uh, okay, so Tampa Bay Storm, how was the team put together? I don't know how it was put together because it's been on longer than I know. Okay. But uh, Derek Brooks is the uh, the president of, of the organization, okay. and he's affiliated with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So they're not that far from Tampa Bay Bucks. Gotcha. And they get a lot of exposure mm -hmm. on ESPN. You know, they get paid the salary to do what they're doing. They get a lot of exposure. Oh, okay, gotcha. So and that's what many guys want. You know, they want that exposure as, as well. You know. So uh, the other question here is, uh, how many cities are you all going to try to get potential recruits? This is the first time that Tampa Bay has come to. Columbia, South Carolina. Okay. So, you know, mm -hmm. when I've talked with them, this is something they, they were looking to do to, to expand. This is an SEC area, and right. they knew that high football caliber athletes are in this area. Absolutely. So, what speaking of football athletes, what do potential players need to know? We know the tryouts are tomorrow at Benedict College. It mm -hmm. starts at 8 a.m., and we do have that information that we're going to put up on the screen. But tell the folks that are looking, what do they need to know? I'm a football player. I want to try out. Well, make sure you got your cleats. You okay. know, <laughs> make sure you got so you can do your 40 yard dash. So, you're going to have a 510 5 shuttle. You had the, uh, the L drill. You had the standing broad jump. But this particular tryout is not going to have a contact. So it's going to be more or less like a lot of evaluations. Okay. And then more than likely, you'll get a call back from the team to come down to Tampa Bay and try out again. So are you all part of the NFL? And if not... This is arena football. Okay. So it's a lot shorter, a lot smaller, and a lot faster. So from Kurt Warner played in this league. You okay. know, And what happens is, is that when you transition to the NFL, it's a lot slower compared to arena football. Your reads right. are a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Your athletes are a lot, you know, you have a short amount of area to get that ball in there and the score goes up a lot higher than the NFL. Well, wow, so Tampa Bay Storm tryouts. Now these tryouts are taking place tomorrow at Benedict College mm -hmm. starting at 8 o'clock until 1 p.m. Um, we know that some people may be watching. It's like this may be their opportunity. What do you tell the person who's like, I don't know if this is for me? Well, you don't know until you try. You know, how many people I've seen over the years that made football teams uh, that never, that hadn't played college football, but had that miracle working type situation where they were very athletic right. and they were able to get on a team. Uh, I remember Justin Gatlin coming out for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers many years ago because he ran like a, a 4-1-0 type 40 wow. and he went far. But at the same time, it's all about what you want to do. And if you don't know how, you won't try, you know. That's a good point. All right. Mr. Washington, Anthony Washington, thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. And so once again, folks, if you would like to become a, a professional football player or if that was a dream and you felt that it was sidelined, here's your opportunity to get back in the game. Try it again at Benedict College tomorrow starting at 8 o'clock until 1 p.m. All right, folks, stay with us. There's more Good Day Columbia coming up after the break.